Hello, today we are talking about the first thing you should do in the morning if you want to slim and flatten your stomach. And the good news is it only takes a couple minutes to do a short version and about 15 minutes to do the full version. But like me, so many women in our community have gotten amazing results in just a few short weeks by implementing some of this routine. So I'm gonna share it with you today. And it's nothing to do with what you're eating or drinking or brushing your teeth. I mean, you go ahead and do all of that stuff. But when you get up first thing in the morning, if you can set aside 15 minutes, you are gonna be amazed at the difference that this makes in flattening the belly, cinching the waist, improving your posture. I mean, helping with our pelvic floor, helping with our breathing, preventing injuries. There is so much benefit that comes from properly working the core. First thing I wanna mention is the muscles of the core. So we have the six pack muscle, which is the most superficial. And then we have the TVA, which is the deep muscle of our core. The TVA is the one that you wanna spend the most time, the transverse abdominus working because it acts like a corset. It wraps around your core and pulls everything in. And it's the muscle that really is gonna fire whenever you do something tricky. Um, yeah, so I have a full 15 minute comprehensive routine. You can find linked below or comment core and I will send it directly to you. But I wanna share with you the stomach vacuum. The stomach vacuum is amazing at really helping to flatten the stomach and also kind of train your mind to activate the correct muscles. So let's walk through how to do it standing. So I'm just gonna lift my shirt so you can see a little bit what's happening. You can tell that I haven't worn a bikini in a while. <laughs> Look how tan my upper body is. <laughs> okay, mostly just because I need to wear a one piece so my son doesn't rip it off while we're in the pool. <laughs> Trust me, I like wearing bikinis. So what you're gonna do is take a deep breath in. Breathe all the air out of your lungs. And then pull up and in. And hold, and you're gonna repeat that a few times. It's easiest to do when your lungs are empty. I know, looks kind of creepy, looks kind of weird. That's another reason why home workouts are great. You can do the weird stuff at home. But what that does is it really pulls the diaphragm up, which is part of how our core works. The diaphragm is a breathing muscle, but it's also a core muscle. And it really, really helps to just pull everything up and in. So we do that at the beginning of our 15 minute core workout. Then we head into exercises that really target the TVA. I can show you a couple right now, just so you can get an idea. And then we finish with HIIT cardio. And this is so important because of course, if we want to change the way our body looks, we need to address burning fat and all of that. And especially a lot of us do store fat on our belly for one reason or another. But doing a HIIT is one of the best ways that we can maintain our muscle, so keep our metabolism high, while also burning a ton of calories and getting great fat loss results. We do four minutes of HIIT at the end of this workout, and this is what really just makes it the complete and perfect solution if you are trying to really target the waist, um, specifically because we do targeted abdominal work in a HIIT style to really help maximize that fat burn. So let me show you just a couple of my favorite exercises. I'm just gonna lower this down a little. Maybe I'll just tilt you down so you can see the camera a bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna back up and just show you a couple of my favorite TVA exercises. These are ones that we start kind of simple with and then we progress to more challenging. So one of the first simple ones you've probably seen before is a bird dog. So you're on your hands and your knees, you're pulling in your core, so you have a nice flat back, and then you're gonna extend your leg behind you. See how my back just kind of arched? You're trying to do the opposite of that. You're trying to pull the core in and keep it super steady as you extend the leg back and the arm forward. Now you can do a little curl and reach, 
or you can just hold it. But that is a bird dog, a great one. And any one where you're working like opposite arm and leg is great because there's a like a big sling. So when you do opposite arm and leg movements, it really helps to activate everything across the core, which is really, really great. So that was a bird dog. Next one I'm gonna show you is a dead bug. This isn't like a themed animal class. <laughs> dead bug is probably my absolute favorite core exercise of all time because you can really modify it. You don't have to lift your head or neck so it's comfortable on your spine, on your neck, but it really targets and activates the core. So you're gonna come to lay down on your back. I think I'll go this way. Extend your legs up to the sky and pull your core in, sending your arms high to the sky as well. Then opposite arm and leg. So left arm, left leg, right arm moves. And then you pull your core in to zip everything back to center. Same thing, other direction. Now, if that's too hard, you can start more basic with bent knees to make it a little bit smaller. When I was newly postpartum after my C-section, I literally just slid a leg out and then pulled it back in. Slid a leg out and then pulled it back in. So not only is knowing the correct exercises important, but knowing how to progress it is equally as important. For a lot of us, we get stuck just doing the same thing over and over, right? Like we'll do a plank for one minute and then we're like, there we go, I did my one minute plank. Like, no, we need to find ways to progress it and make it more challenging because if you just stay doing the same thing over and over again, your body just gets strong enough to do that. And then it's like, okay, well, I'm strong enough to do a one minute plank. I'm not gonna get any stronger. Like our bodies are so wonderfully made. <laughs> to be like super intelligent that you need to push yourself. And inside the Trim Core Challenge, I have it all laid out for you. Each week you get a brand new video that you repeat three times that week, then that video is gone and you don't see it again and you move on to the next one. And in that next one, I've built in the progression for you. So you're safely learning how to increase the challenge in a way that's gonna get you better results, help to reduce any pain or strain, and also train your core in the correct way. Because for a lot of us, you might notice when you go to do core work, your belly kind of puffs forward, and that means that you're not able to manage the pressure of your core. And if you're training your core in a way where it's not pulled in and flat, you're actually kind of training it to stick out a little bit more. So we really regress and strip back the exercises to make them super basic and doable, and then just a little bit harder, a little bit harder, a little bit harder, so you're able to maintain that proper form as you're moving through the exercise, and that's what gets that flat, cinched in stomach. And I've been working much harder at this now, post C-section, than I had to, I mean, post baby or pre baby, I should say, before I had gone through pregnancy in a C-section, I found it a lot easier to activate. But I'm happy to say that my core is starting to flatten out more at the bottom um, because I've been able to really activate those muscles, slow down, regress, go back to basics, and then build from there. That's where the change happens. So I'm really excited to get you started with the trim core. I truly believe it is something that every woman should go through to really connect with these muscles. And once you know how to do it, it's like riding a bike. You'll always know how to activate and properly do those exercises. You'll always know how to do your stomach vacuum and you can just mix it into your routine where you see fit. Three times a week, 15 minutes, done. Core work, done. It is so easy and doable, but it just, it's shocking how much it pays off. You think, well, okay, what's that really gonna do, 15 minutes? It does a lot, trust me. 15 minutes done with intention and focus and in a well laid out manner is gonna do so much for you. I, I mean, we have so many women who are completely shocked by their results because they're used to spending hours at the gym and they've stripped it back to this and gotten better results. And I think that it can do that for you too. So tap the link around this video or comment 
I will send you the workout. You can check it out. I think you're really gonna love it and I can't wait to get you started. It's just you and me doing workouts. It's great. <laughs> so have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for joining me and we'll see you again soon. Big hugs, lots of love, bye-bye.